G'day guys, well this week I have totally nailed the build of the indoor punching bag. I have redesigned the base, no longer using an umbrella, but a very cost effective solution for the base. And this bag outperforms pretty much every single other bag that I have used to date. And that includes the Cobra style bag, which has a spring, which I've also just built. And I will give you a sneak peek at the end of this video. So stick around to the end. But right now, let's go through the build of this baby. <laughs> now the solution for the mast and the base could not be simpler, cheaper, more effective than this. Now I'm using an MDF board and I've used an MDF board in a previous design, but this time, I'm using weights to weigh it down rather than having to stand on it. So I'm using two 10 litre water bottles, water containers, to weigh it down. Now you can use all sorts of different ideas for weighing your board down. You could use your gym weights if you've got any. You can use a box of books, a suitcase full of stuff, just whatever. You've just got to place it here and that holds the board down while you work around on that side. Now we actually cut off the corners nicely. You don't have to, but it's just a nice touch I thought I'd add. For the stem itself in the base, I'm using a pipe system that looks like this. It comes with these pipes that have a thread on them, and I'm using a flange. I found the smallest size, which is roughly just under one inch, 15 mil. And basically, it's as simple as screwing the base plate into your MDF board, and then you get a one inch PVC pipe for your mast and that just slides over the top. Now I've decided that these things are so cheap that I got a big MDF board and MDF boards are cheap as well and I put one flange on this end and another one on the opposite end so I can actually work out on two different types of punching bags in the one session. So a reflex bag and a spa bar. <laughs> Now you could still use an umbrella base like I have done previously, but what I found with umbrella bases is that they're bulky, they're heavy, and you can't really put them away. Now believe it or not, it actually slides in under my couch. And I can also use it as a platform for a chin-up bar. Alright, so let's get back to the build. So for the mast of the punching bag, I'm using a one inch PVC pipe and I've cut wedges into them using a serrated knife and then I'm using a hose clamp to clamp over that. That'll go onto the metal pipe which sits in your flange. Now I bought different size metal pipes to test which one will perform better. In actual fact, the size of the metal pipe dictates the speed of the movement of the bag. So the the longer the pipe, the faster this bag is going to go back and forth. The shorter the pipe, the slower it's going to be. My suggestion is just to get a bunch of different sizes and then try it out yourself to find which one suits you best. Now with the pipes, you also will need to wrap a little bit of tape to ensure that there's a nice tight fit. And then you use your clamp to clamp the bottom of your PVC pipe onto this. You can make this gap longer or shorter. So that'll dictate the height of your punching bag. So different people, you, you're able to adjust it. So for that reason, I don't recommend getting too small a pipe. I recommend starting with a size, something like this, something like this. You can make the punching bag higher or shorter, depending who's going to use it. Now at the top, you can see I'm using a ball. And basically in most of my builds, I use a plunger to attach to the ball and that goes inside the pipe and it's just taped in there. In this case, however, I've reinforced this part of the plunger with a funnel. This morning I was working out and the plunger actually broke. I've decided I'm going to reinforce it with something like a funnel, which I've used in the past. 
Now I've just cut off the bottom of the funnel and that goes, that will go onto the plunger here and I'm gonna tape that with gaffer tape. So this section of the plunger needs to be strong if you wanna extend the life of the plunger. If you don't have one of these funnels, you can use a plastic bottle top or something like that that fits over the top and just need to reinforce it with lots of tape. So this area here is where it's likely to break. So just the tip. So this section has been reinforced and I've taped that all on and it's nice and firm and steady and strong and rigid. So when I punch it, there's very little movement in this area. All the movement is the pole. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Now stay tuned because I'll be putting together a heavy weight version of this using a much heavier ball such as a basketball. So make sure you subscribe and tick the bell so that you don't miss out on that. Okay, so finally, here's a sneak peek of the Cobra style build of punching bag. This one uses a bigger spring than my last build. And in my next video, I'm gonna talk about the dynamics of this type of bag and how does this compare to this type of bag using the PVC pipes. So make sure you stick around for that, subscribe, tick the bell, and I'll see you guys next week.